What have you heard about this Indiana team, Kobe? I've heard about them. Um, they're not a Big Ten team. Um, some really good players, interior, and, and other players. Um, they had to come together to bring it. Um, they're in the same pool as us, um, fighting for a seed in, fighting for the championship, so we have to bring it to our best. Kobe, they have a freshman who's you know, doing pretty well, and Jackson Davis. And do you like the matchup of two of the top freshmen in the league? And do you like the chance to see him on? Yeah, um, I always had a chance to see him really good player. And, um, it's not really about me at the end of the day. Um, it's about coming out there and doing what we do, um, making sure that we secure the win, and making sure that we prove the record. Did you ever beat up against him in the EYBL circuit? Coach mentioned hitting a little bit of a wall for a couple games for you, a freshman wall, and you obviously bounced back. How did you go about getting back on track and starting to just get a little more comfortable and get comfortable again? Just, just getting back focused on um, listening to what my coach is telling me, um, basically coming out there working hard, um, sticking to my script, um, working hard, playing hard in practice, and just doing what I do best, um, going slow, taking everything step by step. Was it frustrating for you to, to kind of run into a little bit of a wall? Like, I'm assuming you probably not experienced that much before in your high school and your basketball career. How did you handle that mentally? No, it, wasn't, it wasn't frustrating at all. Um, I expected it. Um, I knew it was going to come. It was a matter of when and when it came, I just ended it. Tomorrow's the first day of March. I mean, last year you were in high school. <laughs> what, what, what were some of your memories against watching the NCAA tournament? What would it mean to play the NCAA tournament as a freshman? It's exciting. Um, it's, um, I always jumped to playing in there one day. Um, it's really, it's really fun to watch, and I, I can only imagine what it's going to be like playing, actually being there, playing with my guys, and competing. But I mean, like you said, with that kind of, how long have you been dreaming about, I guess, playing on that big of a stage? Like four years now. <laughs> so how much do you think maybe your game has grown just simply from playing in the Big Ten, where you face a pretty good big every single game? It, it has grown tremendously. Um, I picked up a few tips from every player that I played against. That's what I do. Um, I try to watch everybody um, thoroughly and try to pick up something from them. And I think my game has grown um, better um, defensively than it did offensively. Um, this is in the case of playing against a big guy every day, that's really good and that's really skilled offensively. Just being able to stay low and guard my yard. Um, I experienced foul trouble a lot, but like I said, it was a learning process and I think I really picked up a lot of the stuff um, defensively. Who are some of those guys that you just kind of maybe taken a few things from here? I mean, it's everybody. I mean, everybody is. Um, everybody is really good. Every big is really good in the Big Ten. It's just like, just like I said. Um, every big is versatile. Um, every big has something else to bring to the table. So I just try to pick up one thing from each big and watch what they do best and try to learn from them. So is it kind of like seeing a big, maybe how seeing a big do this one post move, trying to pick yeah. something like that? Like a like a post move, the way they the way they crack in, the way they seal. Just watching thoroughly, like even in film, watching how they play. Going over it, going, going over it, to see it over and over again. It's, it's a good memory of it. And how has the process been of developing an offensive package in the post and developing a signature move like that one shot or whatnot? It's been good. Um, coach Orlando is a really good big man back in his days. Um, he's a player's coach, so he knows what he's doing. I just started to trust him. Couldn't help but notice the other night you're, you're dunking the ball again. Is that kind of a sign of your level of confidence? You kind of yeah. keep growing when we see you do that early in the game? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a sign of confidence. Um, I just think that when I go out there with a clear mind, um, just stick, like, stick to the script, like I said. I keep saying that over and over again. But just stick to, stick to the script, trusting my guys that they'll find me when I'm, when I'm in the dunking spot or open, and just finishing the play. Kofi Allen's been playing really well, but I think he's averaging like 10 in his last four or five games. What does he bring away from court? He seems like he, he really has fun every time he's out there, high energy guy. How would you describe him you know, in the locker room and just bringing up team around? Yeah, the same thing you see on the court, the same thing he is off the court. Um, he's a really high level, um, high energy level guy um, off the court. He's really friendly. He's good to talk to. He's always dancing and singing. So yeah, he's a really good great, great person. Does he kind of make, you know, when the team maybe there's not, you know, when the team's in those lulls, does he kind of make you know, playing the game fun again? Kind of like put everything in perspective. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's everybody. Like, we're, we're a really good team. We're a team that we never hung our, hung our heads. Like, when, even when we were in that um, four, four game losing streak, we never hung our heads. We always stay confident because we know we're just going to get over that wall and we're going to fight back. You guys have put yourself in a really good spot here with eight days left in the regular season. How do you guys keep that and, and finish strong? What's the mindset heading into this last week? Um, Never taking anything for granted, um, making sure that we come in focus every day, ready for the next game, um, preparing, um, making sure that we work hard in practice and preparation for each game, make sure that we focus, stay focused. 
these eight days left in the regular season of your freshman year, does that seem real to you? I think uh, I never expected to go that fast. Well, what's been some of your favorite moments from this, this first season, freshman season? Um, just going out there, proving, proving everybody um, what we're capable of. Um, I know a lot of people um, doubted us. I'm just going out there and proving everybody wrong. Um, Better with these guys, like I said before. Um, um, this is the wins and the losses, like everything. I try to, I try to enjoy every moment. Thanks, Thank you so much.